Hey, what's up, guys? Technological Ultimate Gaming here, and welcome to a brand new episode in Minecraft. So, today we're gonna go and look over redstone. So, yeah, if you guys don't know what's redstone, this is redstone, and we're gonna go look over all of these things except for Minecraft and so on. And we're gonna look over redstone. So, first of all, let's talk about functions of redstone and what is really redstone redstone it is a wire like in real life and uh, just a wire that can activate stuff now now we will learn about inputs process and outputs the inputs it's something that uh, will turn on redstone Output is something that will come out once redstone is turned on. Um, redstone can't go up uh, two blocks high. It can go only one block up high. Only one block up. The same with with down. It can't go two blocks down. It can only go one block one by one block down just like that now the function of redstone is that you can you don't need to have it like only one side you can place it down anywhere you want in minecraft anywhere just like that now the earth redstone itself it's really powerful but this is only for turning on and off scenes. Now the rest of this is for comparing and uh, extending redstone, uh, different switches, a lot of cool stuff. So let's get on started. So first of all, we're gonna go for a redstone repeater. Now we're gonna learn. So, uh, excuse me. We're gonna learn uh, now about pistons. The only way to activate a piston. It's just switching the lever on and off. You can't, but it has to point at the piston. It can't be like this. Now, what if you have like lots of redstone and and you simply can't have uh, it finding? This is where a repeater comes in. There's a lot of going on, but the repeater points in a in a specific direction now also another point of a repeater and there's so many points for a repeater is that redstone after 15 blocks just turns off however by using a repeater it refreshes it so this is around 15 blocks there yeah, that's 15 it doesn't turn on here now on the 16th, 15th or 16th, the repeater refreshes it. You can also block repeaters. So this is a way of blocking or remembering the signal. So even if the rest will be turned off, no, not many people know it, it will remember the signal. So this is just a memor also a memorizer. You can block it, and once it's blocked, it just it's simply blocked. Now you can move uh, this thing back and forth. What does this really do? This uh, torch here. The torch over here. It's the delay. Now as well as this, a redstone repeater can also make it can also travel through blocks now i don't know if it can travel through repeaters but i know that it can travel through blocks it can't it just it just can't no it won't travel through repeaters but it will travel through through blocks there's now there are some blocks that uh, can uh, stop the repeater like uh, like glass and 
<laughs> probably millions, I don't know. Not millions now, but some blocks you can. So repeater is pretty powerful. Using repeaters you can also make clocks. Uh, they will cause a bit of uh, delay and lag, but it's really, really useful. So let me just create a small, simple clock. There are many types of clocks. There are pulse clocks, there are pulses you can make out of repeaters. And there you go, that's a clock right there. So just activate it to a piston. And it will push it up and forward and backwards. Now pistons are also really useful things of redstone, really really useful for redstone. I'm gonna show you guys some example later on. So this is a clock, but there's also an even faster clock, that's the fastest clock ever. Yeah, this is pretty quick. So quick that you can't even place the block down, you need to place it down here. So that's what the repeaters are also used for. And now we're gonna go for... Obviously you don't need, uh, you don't need to uh, have a lever for it to work, you can also have buttons and so on. Oh. Another, another thing that I'm using repeaters for is for a constant signal. A constant signal is something like this. Once it's turned on, it will always turn on. Even if you will try to turn it off, it will always be turned on. And this is a constant signal or one one cycle, a single cycle, what I call it. Yeah. As well as to pistons. Uh, well, forget what I wanted to say. Let's move on to torches. So torches, as well as pistons, they have to be pointed. Now torches, redstone torches, are also powerful as hell. They don't require a repeater. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys that the repeater can also go one block up high. So you can make like this. Like here. You can go like that. This is one way of uh, making a signal go up. But there are multiple ways. Multiple ways. Of making a signal going up. So that's one way. Also, you don't need to use a repeater when using it, because why not? And um, I also thought it does have a delay before it will turn on or turn on off, as you guys can see. It does have a tiny bit of delay. Now, torches are another amazing way of the uh, going up signal like vertically up this is uh, this is more like horizontally up but this is vertically up let's turn on it's turned off it's turned on so every um second so one two three so every odd number will be turned off it means it will have power of zero and every second like this guy wait excuse me every odd number will have the power of one every even number will have the power of zero that means it will be turned off and then you can continue on also redstone torches are good for making a not gate a not gate is a negative signal So, as you guys can see, here is a redstone lamp. 
but only one of these guys will be turned on. One of these guys will be making clear too. Only one of them will be turned on at the same time. So, this is what turrets are really used for. And negative signal, I can't a signal up, and that's also, they are also used for making a signal going down, and it's, and I think this is the only way except for going vertically down, uh, sorry, except for going it, for going like that, this is the best way to do it, oh come on, I forgot the uh, false privileges, oh well, whatever, I'm just gonna go ahead and sleep. So, it's still not fully vertically down, but it's nearly vertically down. There you go. That's how you do it. It's really close for making it vertically down. Now as you can see, torches have a 1 tick delay, it means 0.1 seconds delay. Because if they wanted, this torch would be turned off at the same time as this one. But it's not. See, it's not turning off at the same time. Clever! So this is also used for making clocks, etc, etc. But I use it for negative signals and yeah. Now what do you need to have delay? You guys might ask, why do you need to have the delay? You want everything to be in the same speed. Not really. For example, a piston. And then here a block. And then here another type of piston. They will push the block here. If the block... Just simply look, that's why you need to have delays. If this piston will be turned on first, then this won't turn on. Now, it's going to work as I want it. But this is a semi-automatic. To make it automatic, you need to use repeaters. So first of all, grab a repeater here and then grab a repeater with full ma with max delay. And then you guys will see that uh, it's automatic. And you don't need to do anything. The point really is to make this block up here. But it has to be in a certain order. First of all, this piston needs to go off. And then this piston is push it. See, it works now. However, if it would be the opposite, the, the block wouldn't move from its place. Would not move from its place. See, it doesn't move at all. So it is. So this is why I need to have delays. Now let's just make it a sticky piston. Now, there is also a way of making it go back into the same position, but I'm not gonna do this because I don't want to. This will be a bit confusing. Now, I just wanted to here explain why here are delays. Now, next off. So, we did learn about redstone port, and they gave you a bit of light as well as that. We're gonna go and learn something about uh, comparators. A comparator, it's something ultimately powerful. Now let's just grab a dispenser and just couple stone block for advanced technique. A comparator, as the na as the name itself, it says, it will compare both of 
if one signal is stronger than the other, it will turn off. If the side input will be stronger than backward input, it will turn off. However, if it will be weaker, it will keep it on and on. I don't know if it counts as uh, repeaters. Yeah, it counts. It does count repeaters. However, if they're both the same, the input will be stronger. But if they're not the same, what? All right, I don't get it. I don't get it. Right, let's just try it again. Yeah. So repeaters don't count. So this is a comparator. It compares uh, both of the signals. Keep it in mind that a redstone signal has 15 blocks. Now this is also a subtract mode. Which way it compares both of the signals together. Except it subtracts them. So 3 minus... Um, I don't know how it subtracts, right? but that's a subtract mode. So 3 minus 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 minus 5 equals 2. However, 3 minus whatever it's going to be. See, the signal is much stronger because it subtracts both of the signals. So for example, 3 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 will give you, uh, will give you 14. Sorry, 3 minus 11 is going to give you uh, 3 minus 11 will give you 7, I guess. Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 7. It will give you 7. Let's just make it a bit further. No, it's not f close enough. It's too far away, though. And yeah, this is just a subtract mode. It still takes away one input from another. I don't know what is about the other. Oh, I guess it subtracts from the stronger input. So three minus three is zero. Yeah, it's, it takes away from the strongest. So this guy is stronger than this guy. So it takes away from that. Okay, yeah. A comparator it's really awesome and it's also basically a block detector what I meant by this is that a comparator can compare the signals a signal from here for example a stone will give a signal strength of 2 because it's only a third of a uh, Sorry, a ninth of the entire thing. A ninth. It's not, it's non-stackable. However, if we would put, put shoes, one item, it's gonna go the same amount. Even though that's one, it's not a stack. That's because it's not stackable. It has to have a certain slot. So basically, how many slots there are, take, there are taken? This is how many, this is how far away the redstone will go. Now with the subtract mode, it will count the remaining slots. Oh no, the subtract mode doesn't work in this.
Or does it? No, it doesn't work here. It's a subtract mode. I, I think I know why. I don't know why. Right here, the subtract mode doesn't work. But basically, it just reads how many items are in the dispenser, chest, whatever. Does it work? With, I, does it actually work with the chest? That's actually a good question. It does work with a chest, so keep that in mind. Does this work with a double chest? Yep, it still works with that, with a double chest. You need to have more stuff, but it still works. Great. So this is basically a compare that compares this and the signal, or it reads the signal. I can only sleep at night. Great, it's not even night. So it basically compares the signal from the chest or from redstone stuff with himself. Now you guys might like to try it yourself. Compared to the subtract mode and normal mode, a comparator is really, really powerful. Now, the very last thing I want to show you guys, show we guys, is going to be gates. And gate, not gate, XOR gate, XNOR gate. Nor gate, no, sorry, not gate, XOR gate, or I don't know, all kinds of stuff. So, first of all, let's uh, try, let's uh, make an AND gate, a simple AND gate. So, you, you need to have both torches like this and a torch like that. Now, an AND gate will only turn on if both of the signals are on. So, for example, if this thing and this thing will be turned on, then the power will be also Clever, I really like it. An OR gate. A simple OR gate. OR gate will only will work if all of them or or one of these will be turned will be turned on. So if I will turn on all of those uh, levers as long as one of them is working. The piston will be turned on. Any anyone or 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 all of them, just like one will be working. The piston will be turned on. So this is. An OR gate, as the most simple gate here. Now, you can also have an extended version of AND gate. To do so, you need to have an NOT gate and and OR gate. So this is a NOT gate, as I got, as I was saying before. Uh, gate that just reverses the signal so this is a good example of one oh, come on I was basically down towards this stairwell accident so these are all not and even this is a not gate this is a not gate because it's turned up it reverses the signal as you can see this signal is turned on, which means this one is turned up. So even here, there's a not gate. So here, there's a not gate and an OR gate. And this is an extended AND gate. I know there are so many words, but you guys might get it. An OR gate, if that means a this is a reversed not. OR gate. A reverse. That means if only... I don't know how to explain it. 
But this is an extended version of an ant kit. All of those torches have to be turned off before it's turned off. Now, the X, uh, sorry, the NOR gate. The NOR gate works only if all of these guys are turned off. So it's a reverse. So this is a NOR gate. It will only work if the, all of these guys are turned off. So this could be used as an AND gate or a NOR gate. An X OR gate works only if one of those and only one of the inputs will be turned on. Now I don't know how to make an extended version of it, but it just works. So mix it like that. Here, make a T shape. Let me make a Q here. Like this. Am I doing it correctly? I think I'm doing it wrong. So, yeah, just memorization. I really don't think this is how to do it. Um, I really need to look it up or something. Oh, I know how to do it. I really know. I just... There you go. So none of, none of these guys are turned on. But if you flick one, the piston will turn on, the other will still turn on. Do we need to have a torch? Yes, we need to have a torch here. There you go, I have done it. So if both of those are turned on. Sorry, if both of those are turned off, the piston will turn off. It will be down. If one of these guys will be turned on, the piston will be. However, both of them will be not. I have finally done it by myself. I really need to remember how to do it. So just like a T-shape, there, 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 there. What is this really used for? And um, it's hard to explain what it's really used for. So I'm gonna just uh, show you guys. But that, that's it. However. This is also an X NOR gate. So this X OR gate, X NOR gate. It means if it means that it will only work if all of these guys are turned on. If all of them are turned on. Right. If all of these guys are turned on, then this thing will work. So this is an AND gate, an X NOR gate, and X, sorry, an AND gate, and X, X NOR gate, 
an XOR and no gate. Just there are so many gates, but these are most the best ones, the best ones, the most common ones. So where they can be used, Frank? So this is a good question. For example, they can be used for making a uh, piston doors. Now this is there are two versions of making it, but I'm gonna go for the harder one. So let's just make it here, 1, 2, 3 and 4, then 1, 2, 3 and 4, and then here 1, 2, 3 and 4, and here blocks in front, then they get in front, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, all around it, here, and just grab some sandstone because I, because I might make a mistake again. One two, one two, one two, one two, one two. So this is all of the rest that we will use. Three, excuse me, three. One two three. Two reds on torches. Make sure there's a block over them. Another, another two. And the very last ones. Oh my god, I'm breaking everything. They make these on max delay. Leave these guys here low and max delay again and just head on towards the middle here one two three four and then make it pointing at the redstone torch and block over like that then over here this and one two out one two out one two one two one two and then one two and then here one two one two and um, you, you guys can pause anytime you, you like now just ignore if it looks so funny like that like um, that it will be fixed right now so here we come out one there you go and does it work Does it? Well, you know what, guys? Thank, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you dudes in the next episode.